some people would ask, so if cultivating what we are now calling the genetic talent is so complicated, and how is all these external factors shaping our brain's development, how can we understand what are we good at? I think that there are two main factors that, among others, really shapes and define what we then call talent. The first one is identity, and the second one is obsession. We might start doing many different things in life, and people might recognize us for one in particular. And so that becomes our identity. We become that guy who is good at that. That happened to me, for example. People around me told me that I was good at playing drums, so I became the drummer when I was a child. That was a cover-up for my insecurities in reality. It defined me. It was like a social status at the time. The second one, which could become a derivative of the identity factor, or not, is uh, obsession. When we are obsessed with something, we're spontaneously overworking most of the people that like the same thing, but are not as as obsessed. If we learn every day 1% more than most of the people that are passionate about something, in one year we will know 365% more than them. That also is a way to shape your talent. I am obsessed with it, therefore I became specialized in it. So obsession and identity mixed to our genetics, the environment in which we are born and grow up in, and our psychology are all the elements that, in my opinion, shape what we then call talent.